Okay, so in this video we are going to continue to look at centripetal acceleration and we're going to take a look at TED. And so we're going to have to make some sort of assumptions. We're going to have to make a lot of assumptions, but we're going to be close. We're going to be ballpark. Okay, well, so first off, we have to sort of realize that it's actually probably more like this that uh, they tilted the camera for dramatic effect. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an assumption that this gate is more or less vertical straight up and down and that I think we're going to say that horizontal, the horizontal in this uh, picture is probably something like that. So there's our horizontal, and now it doesn't help that that Ted is wearing a black suit, and I'm wearing, and I'm using a black marker. Um, but I'm going to sort of make an assumption, sort of the way that he's at right there. I'm going to sort of make an assumption that his that his center of mass is kind of right in there, and I'm going to sort of make an assumption that kind of all that force is coming down to a point around there and so I'm going to say that that that's kind of a line this is kind of a line that passes through his center of mass um, and out to sort of the average point where uh, sort of the average between sort of where the pressure is, more or less. Okay, making some assumptions. So, what I get out of that, if I measure an angle, is I see that, that there's a line from that point of support to his center of mass that's at about 23 degrees okay so that's about 23 degrees um, and I think that's reasonable if we sort of push that in there a little bit and dropped it down you'd still be at about 23 degrees so I feel that's reasonable okay so now let's look we have a force diagram now and the one force that we always know is gravity so if we just look there's going to be a force or there's going to be a force pulling him straight down which is going to be uh, mass times 9.81 meters per second squared and then there's going to be his push is going to be like this. So uh, this is Ted's push. And then those two vectors added together, once again, force centripetal is not a vector in and of itself. Force centripetal is two or more vectors added up together, it's, it's vectors added together. So this, after Ted is pushing this way with his legs and gravity's pulling down this way, what's left over is force centripetal. And that's going to be m v squared over r. Okay, so what we have is we have uh, tangent 23 degrees is equal to m, let's just call that mg for right now, mg divided by mv squared over r. Do a little manipulation and uh, let's solve that for r. Well, hang on a second. His mass doesn't matter, cancels out. And so we have tan 23 degrees is equal to gr over v squared. So, now we're going to make some assumptions. Uh, what I'm going to assume, uh, I looked and did a little research 
and I think we can say that um, the Kransky Gora GS, the Kransky Gora GS, is about uh, 1,200 meters long, roughly, and Ted skied it in about 70 seconds, and so that gives him a speed of 1,200 divided by 70, uh, 17 meters per second. Uh, you also hear that uh, GS, this is a GS, GS is about, they say, speeds up to 45 miles per hour, and 45 miles per hour divided by 2.24 is about 20 meters per second. So we're going to say that Ted's velocity, we'll just sort of call it just for just for the sake of saying it, we're going to say his velocity is 19 meters per second. And uh, we're going to solve this for r. So we're going to say r is equal to uh, tangent, well, let me call it v squared over g tangent 23 degrees. So that is um, 19 meters per second squared divided by 9.81 meters per second squared tangent 23 r is going to be 19 squared divided by 9.81 times tangent 23 and we get uh, 15 0.6 meters. So let's call it. So right now we say that he's making a turn of radius 15.6 uh, meters and uh, we know that basically the the gate distances are about 27 meters. Uh, so you know it's hard to say we're, we're sort of we're in the right ballpark. Um, once again, it's an, out, it's an outdoor sport and everything uh, is not as nice and clean as if you bring it into the laboratory. But there is roughly um, the radius of his turn. Now also if we look at that, um, we know that if this is 9.81 and this is 23 degrees, that Ted's push is going to be uh, his mass times 9.81 meters per second squared divided by the sine of 23 degrees. So we're going to end up with 9.81 divided by sine of 23 degrees and so at 25.1 which is in terms of G's about 2.55 so he's pulling about two and a half G turn there so basically there's his body weight so his legs right now roughly speaking are supporting his body weight plus one and a half times more of his body weight. So if we, so roughly speaking, if he weighs 200 pounds right now, um, it would be as if he was uh, carrying 300 pounds on his shoulders, roughly speaking. Again, rough numbers based off of a photograph that I found on the internet. Okay, that's that.